Hi, welcome again to 5-Minute Revit. Today, tips and tricks is about uh, share parameters. I, I got questions uh, about uh, uh, doing uh, some videos to explaining uh, the parameters in Revit. I will start with shared parameters and I hope this video will help you to understand shared parameter. Uh, shared parameters are uh, are parameters that we use them in the project and we uh, if we if if we don't have uh, the parameters inside revit we create a share parameters and uh, like in in this exercise i will show you for example uh, to reference a project in a sheet we don't have that parameters then uh, we will create that parameters uh, to give example uh, how we can use a share parameters uh, in a Revit. Let's see how it's work. Like for example, in, in this project, I will add in this sheet a project reference, for example, and the project reference, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's only uh, parameters that, uh, that we will uh, add as example. Let's see how it's work. I go in here in the ribbon and I go to label in here and I will uh, add in here a label. Now I have the dialog box uh, that uh, uh, edit label and if I go here underneath in this uh, button I click on new parameters and I have that gray out okay share parameter is gray out. If I go to select now I have this file share parameter with the template but I can uh, edit this one and create a new one this is how you can create a share parameters let's see i name uh, i name it uh, for example uh, five minute uh, shared shared parameter sorry five minute shared parameter okay i i put that in in here and now i have that share parameter in that location and before i started created a, a, a parameter you see that i have in here a, a gray out the parameters you need to create a group a group force first i click on a new i name them project information for example project info and I click on OK. Then you see now I have this available. I click on New. And uh, share parameters can be uh, 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 can be uh, integer, text, area. This is the table of parameters that we have in Revit. Let's uh, uh, make it a text. And I name them Project Info. Project Info Reference and it's a text i put okay now i have it in here okay i click on okay okay now i have it in here now i add it in here and i can give here a sample like we said that it's a it's a number it's a text but it's a reference it's a, a number for example and okay now i have it that in here okay and let's just adjust that little bit in here and now i load it into project okay override existing but if, when i select i have here this uh, integrated in here but we have one more important step without that step you cannot add the information in the parameter you need to add the para the share parameter in project as a project a parameter how we do that we go to manage and in manage i go to project parameters and in project parameters you see here i have only this one by default i go to add and go to share parameters this is the trick go to share parameters select and now i have it available for me in here the parameter that i created in the title block in the in the family editor it's uh, now i add it and you can uh, have it like instance or type as you like you and you go to group it for example under uh, uh, a general 
and now I will uh, I will call it in which category that parameter would list it under. Okay, in this case we wanted that parameter to be listed under project information. Okay, uh, if I go to project information in here I will click on project information and then I put OK and OK. Now if I said OK, now if I click I can add the reference for example uh, let's see 19 uh, sorry I said in French <laughs> and now like that. If I go in, in manage uh, in project information and then I can go to general in here project information reference I have the parameter in here I can change it from here let's see we do like for example Z because it's a text we can do Z Z uh, Z Z 0 1 0 2 okay the reference now you have it in here now you can add a share parameter like the way that we we did in this video you can add it in the title block you can add it in another family categories now you get the idea how the share parameter file work uh, by the way the last things but the share parameters it's uh, the best practice to have one share parameter file uh, the text file that i, I create now as example uh, you for your company you, you need to have one share parameter that include uh, all the parameters for the company that's it's uh, just a little advice but you can do uh, as you want you can have two or three parameters but the best practice say to have one share parameters uh, thank you and I hope this parameter this uh, sorry I hope this uh, video explain how to share parameter file if you have any questions uh, put it under comment and I will be happy uh, to uh, do a video to explain uh, the question thank you and have a nice day